love to keep you indie no with indie parks. Our next guest is part of a local nonprofit called 913 Sports that has helped more than 25,000 local young Hoosiers fall in love with cycling. Welcome to 913 Sports Creative Director Nathan Wilson to tell us more about their local yeah. mission and partnership with indie parks, oh, as well as some upcoming bike camps. Hey, Nathan, how you That's doing? Right. Hi, doing well. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. Having. Welcome. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So 913 Sports, our organization, we're a youth education nonprofit. So our goal is to educate and empower youth in Central Indiana. The bike happens to be the platform or the tool we use, if you will, to do it. So we yeah. have three different programs. We have one called Kids Riding Bikes. It's okay. a big bike video game that goes to kids as part of their PE class. Fun. You know, mental and physical health benefits. Yeah. Explore Indy, teaching kids about the bike as a mode of transportation mm -hmm. and building deeper connections with community through historical storytelling stops oh, along those great. rides. Yeah. Cool. And then kids building bikes, we're actually getting tools into the kids' hands, teaching them the basics of maintenance, repair, how to build a bike. But we're also learning things like perseverance, you know, employability mm -hmm. skills, like, um, you know, teamwork, yeah. how to, you know, be accountable. Also, you know, self-confidence, problem yeah. solving, those sorts of things. So we use the bike to teach a whole bunch of different things. Oh, that's so, great. That's I imagine the, the maintenance one is a little bit deeper of a dive. It is. And uh, yeah. you, you brought some things for us to try out today, right? Yeah. yeah. What are we doing Would today? You bring your yeah, so the number one thing that we hear from kids as to why they don't ride their bike mm -hmm. is that the tire's flat. Okay. And they don't know how to change it. All right. Mm -hmm. So through Bike Camp, we're able to take all three of our programs and sort of blend them together. And one of the things that we'll do is we're going to empower them to solve that problem themselves yeah. and give them the confidence to do it. So today we're going to go through how to change a bike tire. Here okay. Let's do it. So, this is good to know. Tire, tire's flat, right? Okay. And so the first thing you need, this is called a tire lever. So first we gotta be able to get that tube out of there because yeah. the tube inside the tire is what's actually flat. So you take this and you just hook it underneath the tire, okay. yeah. like so. You run it around the rim. All right. And so now you have access to the tube okay. inside here. So you have your valves in, this is where the air goes in. Yep. So you can pull that out and then you can come around and pull the tube out of the tire. Just like that. Yep, so oh, the valve wow. stem is key, I know, right? I did not so know that. for the magic of yeah. television, we're gonna pretend like this is flat. Okay. Right. Okay. But the important thing about okay, so now you know how to change a tire, but yeah. why did it go flat? Mm. So there's two different reasons usually, and this comes into play. Okay. Okay. So knowing the different type and knowing where it is on the rim. So if you see one puncture, that is a puncture, like a thorn or a piece of glass has sure. come through. And we'll actually teach the kids. They can listen to it. Okay. Or they can go by feel, or we can actually put soapy water on it and it'll bubble. And so then they can find in relation to this valve stem where that is, and they can actually feel inside the tire nice. to check it out and try to find it themselves. This is so yeah. useful yeah. for And so learn. if there's two holes, that's what's called a pinch flat or a snake bite, okay. which means you're running it too low and it'll actually kind of get out around the rim and the rim will flatten it oh, against I the... See. Exactly. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So then once you figure that out, you know what happened and you know how to solve that problem. So now it's time to put the tire back in the yeah. tube. But what it comes out of the box is like this. Okay. That's gonna be really difficult yeah. to get back I in there. I have never seen that. Like that. Brand new, brand new tube. Yeah, okay. So, put a little bit of air in it. Yeah. So yeah. now it's the shape of the tire. Okay. So would one of you like to try to get it back in the tire? I mean, Jillian. I, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? I'll yeah. help. Okay. I mean, I'll help. I held a skunk okay. and a baby possum. So there, right, you're right. You know. I, I gotta take one for the team here. So <laughs> you find <laughs> where the valve stem comes through, okay. right? And you wanna line that up and then line just sort of push that in there. Yeah. Get that in through there, okay? Yeah. That in there. I mean, I do have right. baby hands, so this part and I now, already got. That's yeah. why they come in here. Now that's good. So now yeah. just take it and kind of start okay. working it in there. Yeah. You're right. Doing great, Jill. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Nathan, this, you're doing Yeah, this is easier you. than Thank I thought. You. I, I appreciate thought, that. Yeah, I thought this yeah. was going to be more difficult. It's actually not at all. So then we talked oh. about that pinch flat, <laughs> right? There you go. There you go. So you have to be a little bit careful when you put the tire back into the bead. You yes. sort of roll backwards like this. Okay. See what I'm doing there? Oh, I see, I see. So okay. see, you roll it backwards because then, go ahead. Yeah, yep, so you know, teamwork. Watch the we nails. We just kind of like, teamwork, <laughs> yeah. Watch the nails. Watch we just kind of tuck it in, you know? Yeah, that's great. Nathan, yeah. uh, <laughs> Julian has little hands, but it's doing great. Kinda. Thanks, but, guy, kind of. But then <laughs> you want to make sure there's no tube sticking out. You know, okay. you go around yeah. and you check it to make sure you're, again, not going to get nice. one of those. Wow. Parts. That's a great so tutorial. It's, yeah, it's obviously 
obviously it's much more in depth when we do it with the kids, yeah. but by the time they leave on that particular day of bike camp, sure. they are armed with the knowledge to then go and fix that problem for themselves and know how to prevent it in the future. Empowerment, that's and so yeah. fun. I'm yeah. sure that builds their confidence yeah. too. Uh, in number one thing yeah. we hear from those lessons is, from parents and kids alike, is the, the confidence that it instills in them yeah. because they feel like they can go solve the problems themselves yeah. and they have the knowledge to be able to then also share that with friends and family members as well. That's great. The info right yeah. there for that upcoming awesome. bike cam that you can yeah. sign up your youngster for is 913 Sports right there. Check right them out there. on social media. Uh, that was really fun. Nathan, thank lot, you. Yeah, and best wishes. We with the learned a ton. Up. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Happy to do it. Yeah.